Say we have, uh, let's go really easy. Limit x approaches 2 of, of uh, x squared plus 1. Okay, so let's just take this limit. So in this case, uh, we can plug the number in, right? So it's super easy. So we just get 2 squared plus 1, right? So we get uh, 4 plus 1. So we get uh, 5, 5, right? Yeah, 5, 5. Okay, okay. So why? Check this out. Think of this as f of x. So if you take the limit as x approaches 2 of f of x, f of x, x squared plus 1, that's continuous, right? It's a parabola, right? It has no holes or breaks, right? So according to the definition of continuity, this is equal to f of 2, right? Remember, x approaches c of f of x equals f of c. That's the definition of continuity, right? So because this is a continuous function, this is true. But wait a minute, what is this? This is the limit as x approaches 2. F of x is what we have on the board, x squared plus 1. F of 2, we just did it up here, right? F of 2 is 5. So every time we plug in a number and we get the answer, we're using continuity. Every single time. So when you're taking limits and the homework and you plug in a number like this, you're using the power of continuity without even knowing it. It's kind of weird, right? It's kind of weird. Mm -hmm. Deep, right? So again, we plug in the number, we get 5. Think of the definition of continuity, right? This is what it means for a function to be continuous at 2. That, right? Because this is the regular definition, right? X approaches C. This is the definition of continuity at C, right? So this is continuous at 2. Or this is continuous everywhere, right? It looks like this. So it's continuous everywhere. In particular, it's continuous at 2. So you can just plug the 2 in. So every time you plug a number in, you're using continuity. Every single time. It's kind of weird. People don't really think about that when they're taking limits. They're like, oh, just plug it in to get the answer. It's good. But you're using the power of continuity.